Hello, my name is Tim Gregory. I'm with Vermeer Investment Management, where I'm a senior fund manager. And uh, I want to update you today on where we see markets now and also the extraordinary moves we've seen in the last month. First and foremost, though, I hope that everyone is doing okay at this extraordinarily difficult time and their friends and family uh, are also getting through this situation as best as they can. And I hope that continues to be the case going forward. So where are we with markets? Well, on February the 19th, we had the end of the 11 year global bull market. Uh, we then saw as a result of the coronavirus outbreak pandemic clarification that uh, markets disintegrated somewhat. We had a financial dislocation, a crash, markets falling, picked a trough by an enormous amount before steadying in early March. And since then, in fact, we've had a bull market. So we really have had everything in the last month and uh, in one, one week alone, we saw one of the best weeks that markets have ever had. So having fallen a long way and rebounded strongly, where are we now and how are we assessing the situation? And the reality is, is it's absolutely clear that the economy is in short-term depression, very uh, heavy, significant level of recession. And we cannot know how long that will go on for. And that will really depend on successful exit strategies from this situation uh, of lockdown currently, which uh, has been the epicenter of which has been in Europe uh, and more recently has also developed uh, with serious implications for the US. But at the same time, the Federal Reserve and other central banks around the world and governments around the world have done absolutely everything they can to shore up markets uh, and the economy by providing a staggering amount of liquidity that will help us get to the other side. Governments are providing money to small businesses and to individuals as a bridge to the period when they can get back into work. Uh, and that is helping the banks, for example, uh, who are making very big credit provisions uh, and reserves for losses, but it's helping the banks to get through uh, and stay in pretty good financial shape going forward as long as the situation doesn't persist for too long. So having had such a big move, you know, we think uh, markets are finely balanced now between the difficulty of assessing how the exit strategy is gonna work uh, and how quickly economic normality will return uh, and at what level, and the staggering response, as mentioned before, to provide liquidity by the markets. The Federal Reserve, for example, has already stepped in to buy corporate credit to make sure that credit markets function uh, properly. Uh, and if necessary, I believe strongly that they will take the unprecedented action uh, of buying equities as we've already seen in Japan. And that would only occur, I believe, if markets were to fall back sharply uh, to lows that we saw earlier in March of this year. And at this point in time, we are a long way from that, as investors have latched onto the fact that the Federal Reserve is doing everything in its power to provide liquidity to markets. Uh, and investors have seen this playbook many times before, where it is impossible to use that phrase, fight the Fed. Uh, and markets have gone up, climbing a wall of worry uh, as economic situations uh, developed. Clearly, there has never been an economic situation like this where GDP has collapsed so far, so fast, and unemployment has picked up. But the Fed is doing everything in its power, along with governments, to provide support to make sure the economy uh, can recover from this and that we can go forward. So my advice would be to stay patient, to look for the companies that you like, to select uh, carefully what you want to invest in uh, and also uh, to be patient in your approach, particularly now that we've had such a strong move in markets in the short term. Once again, I want to wish you all the very best. I hope everyone is able to stay safe and that their friends and family are also okay. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you very much.